ever wondered what really goes on in your head when you have a few drinks? We're not just talking about a hangover here. Today, we're diving deep into how alcohol seriously messes with your mental health and brain, and why it's way more serious than you might think. Let's get into it. So you think a few drinks just make you funnier, right? Think again. Even one heavy night out can totally throw your brain off its game. Alcohol literally disrupts your brain's messengers, neurotransmitters, slowing down your reaction time, clouding your judgment, and seriously messing with your balance, memory, and even how you speak. And let's talk about blackouts. This isn't just forgetting what happened. Your brain, for a period, literally cannot form new memories. You wake up and poof, a chunk of your night is just gone. Pretty terrifying, right? Now, let's get real about mental health. If alcohol is your go-to for stress or social anxiety, thinking it's your quick escape, I'm here to tell you it's actually doing the opposite in the long run. In fact, alcohol often makes anxiety and depression worse or can even trigger their development. Research actually shows that alcohol use and depressive disorders feed into each other. It might feel like a fix in the moment, but it often just deepens mental health struggles. And here's the really scary part. It boosts the risk of suicidal thoughts. This isn't something to take lightly. Okay, so that's the short term. But what happens when you drink heavily for months or even years? Your brain starts to adapt to accommodate all that alcohol. And guess what? That leads to physical dependence, intense cravings, and nasty withdrawal symptoms when you try to stop. Ever heard of wet brain? It's a real thing, also known as Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. It's basically brain damage from being chronically low on thiamine, a crucial vitamin. This can lead to confusion, coordination issues, and permanent memory loss. Yes, permanent. And there's more long-term damage, brain shrinkage, and loss of gray and white matter. This impacts everything from your decision-making abilities to your self-control. Seriously, it's messing with the core of who you are. Let's talk about binge drinking. Ever had five or six drinks in just a couple of hours? That's binge territory, and even one night of that can trigger serious heart issues, irregular heartbeats, or worse, alcohol poisoning. This isn't just about feeling rough the next day, and it's a huge factor in things like unplanned sex, assault, horrific accidents, and even long-lasting mental health trauma. Here's something groundbreaking. Scientists are now saying alcohol can actually prime your brain for addiction, even to other substances. It literally switches your brain from its normal decision-making mode to a habit mode, making it easier to spiral into other addictions. Add in all the mental health stuff we just talked about, and you've got a perfect storm for patterns that are incredibly tough to break. Alcohol use disorder isn't just a buzzword. It's a diagnosed brain condition tied to repeated drinking despite serious consequences. It's not a moral failing, it's a health issue. You might be watching this thinking, could this be me? If you're wondering, alcohol use disorder is diagnosed when you show two or more symptoms within 12 months. Things like uncontrollable drinking, intense cravings, or alcohol causing negative impacts on your life. But here's the good news. Recovery looks different for everyone, and help is available. You can try therapies like cognitive behavioral therapy, motivational interviewing, or incredible group support like AA. Some people also find success with medications like naltrexone, a camprosate, or disulfiram, which can help reduce cravings or make drinking unpleasant. If any of this resonates, or if you just want to talk anonymously, the American Addiction Center's helpline is free and always open. Seriously, it's a judgment-free zone, and they can help you find options suited for you. So why bother making a change? Even ditching alcohol for just a few weeks can totally transform your life. You'll experience boosted mental clarity, lower anxiety, improved mood, better sleep, healthier liver function. And yes, your wallet will thank you too. And here's a really crucial point. No level of alcohol is truly risk-free. Recent research links even moderate drinking to six major cancer types, everything from liver to breast cancer. It's not just about heavy drinking anymore. If any of this struck a chord today, please let it sink in. Whether you want to curb your drinking or go completely sober, science overwhelmingly backs the benefits.